Let's just start big picture. Big picture. This is a big game. You know it. Your players know it. How'd you characterize the vibe that you're getting so far today? Great. Yep, the guys are good. We just had a really good meeting with them. Uh, talking to the guys a lot this morning. You know, they all feel good. Listen, they know our, our best hockey. We haven't played it yet. They know that. They, they know we need to play with more discipline so we stay out of the penalty box. They know we need to score some more goals. They understand. But there's not one guy in that room ready to call it a day uh, and, and call the season over. So... Um, <laughs> I'm very confident that we're going to we're going to see the A game from everybody tonight. There's a great great mood in the room. The practice was good, lots of energy. So we just hope that carries into the game tonight. You bring Cole and and Colin into the lineup uh, in in this key game. What are you looking for them, and what are you looking for from your new look lines as well? Well, we need to score some goals. I think, you know, we, we've created some chances, but with the puck, you know, we're not scoring the, the important goals, that those timely goals that we've talked about. It hurt us in game two when we hit the post with the 2-1. It hurt us in game three when we had that breakaway at 2-1. So we need to score some goals, and um, that's why they're going in. Uh, Colin's got a great shot in the point. We're hoping to get something from them, and we know Cole's in, you know, it's time to give him a good look. If we're, we had enough offense in the lineup the last couple of games we just haven't scored so <laughs> let's increase the odds up and, and put the put Cole back in over the last couple of years we've talked a couple of t many times actually about your passion for the game what you're in this for you're chasing a cup you've got a dream you're still pushing for it nobody could want this more than you heading into game five making sure that the series extends how are you feeling great so that's what we love man <laughs> this is what we love no listen you know it, yeah, it's, it's all about uh, it's all about playing in the, this this time of year and playing these important games. So yeah, I'm excited. I, I know I'm getting old. I know there's a lot more behind me than ahead of me, but uh, we're going to enjoy every day. Rick, uh, why go back to Ehlers with uh, Shafley and Velarde now? Well, uh, they, they had some success earlier, and the second time we put them together, it wasn't as successful. But, again, we're, we're not scoring goals. So it's, it's an easy move, and I've done it quite a number of times over the season. When you don't see it clicking, you just flip-flop the wingers. So we've done that for the most part, and I've talked to them all, and they're all aware. But let's try this, and if, it's, if, we're, if we're still not generating enough offense, then we'll just flip the wingers around. Yeah, with Tyler Toffoli, I mean, he and Alex Ayafalo played together in L.A. Is there a little familiarity there that you hope to see from uh, him? Or? That and, you know, it's, uh, it's been it, – things aren't going great for Tyler right now. So um, i got to make sure he keeps him – some minutes because he's going to be on the power play. I'm going to make sure he stays involved in the game. But you, you want your fourth line to chip in every now and then, and hopefully they can do that. To your point, Rick, about um, <clears throat> trying to boost offense, you could both use boosting offense and defense in this series, clearly. So I wonder how you feel. You've kind of straddled the line when often you kind of have to go philosophically entirely in one direction or the other. Yeah, well, it, again, it... Um, you hope that you don't fall behind. We uh, we hope that we stay with a little more discipline so we can get some flow going because I'm I'm convinced if we can do that, that we'll, the offense will take care of itself. The penalties are taking all the flow right out of the game, and the the guys that are are offensive guys are sitting on the bench. And it's just like the other night, back to back. And I know they scored a minute into it, um, which cuts them out. Actually, there's only three. Very short penalty kills, but we just need to stay out of the box. We need to get that flow going, and then I think when you get that, both ends kind of take care of themselves. You're more in the game defensively, you're more in the game offensively. But when you're sitting there and there's penalties and it's disrupting the flow of the game, again, like I say, that's kind of it's self-inflicted when we're taking those penalties. So we certainly need to play with a lot more discipline, and then I believe the flow of our game, both sides, will get better. Rick, how would you describe just how Cole has managed the various ups and downs emotionally, you know, uh, with with how this season has played out for him? I, listen, I think, and you know, I kept telling that, like, we talk to him all the time, but he's handled it like a, like a pro. Like, he wants to play. There's no question. He's a great kid. He's going he's gonna to have a great career. So, and I always use Cooch as the example. In our first year in Tampa, we, we scratched Cooch a couple times, right? So, uh, sometimes the young guys just need a little more time. Uh, 
he's anxious to play tonight. Had a good talk with him today, and he's looking forward to it. You got to get him in there somewhere, sometime. When we're now scoring, now's a, now is can't wait any longer, right? So uh, it's a good opportunity for it. He, he honestly, he's handled it well. He, the coaches tell me, and I'm not out there with them. He works really hard, and and in the gym as well. So he, he's ready to go. You almost have to tell him. To not to try and do too much, like to try and be the savior here for your team? Yeah, well, exactly. Just go out and play your game. But he's going to be nervous. Look, the first, he's going to be nervous, and we get that. So we'll help him through that. And just on Brendan and Vlad, neither was on the ice today. No. I assume they're both ruled out for tonight? Yes. Okay. How are they both doing? Uh, Vlad's got a colorful cheekbone, I'll tell you that. So, but I saw him today. Actually, I called him last night when he got home. He's, you know, he's nauseous. He hasn't eaten, um, so he's not feeling great. Uh, and Dilly, of course, you know him. He, 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 two broken hands. He'd still want to play, but uh, we'll give him a couple more days. Rick, we often in the media describe teams as desperate when they get down to the you know do or die uh, scenario of a series uh, but how much maybe more of an urgent team would you like to see tonight uh, and I say that in context with maybe you have to play with more urgency than you have been able to so yeah, far they, this yeah we, we, we talked about that there's been a lot of lapses in the intensity and everything but you can't go we don't want to go overboard and start running all over the ice and, and taking penalties and, and um, things like that so yeah there, there'll be more urgency yeah, I'm I got to be confident about that with the position we're in and the talking to the players but now again we got to go on the ice and, we, and we've we've got to do it you go back and you can go back through every single game of this series when you had a chance uh, to uh, maybe not apply a knockout blow but certainly put yourself in in better shape to expand one goal to two goal leads uh, uh, was any of that talked about today, uh, bearing down on those opportunities that you have had. Yeah, well, well we looked at some of that, the, the video around the net. We've got to, you know, we're, they're getting to our net. They're getting too many chances around our net. We've got to clean that up, um, and we've certainly got to get a few more chances. Look at the goals we're scored, like Gus's goal here in game two, right around the net, a rebound. We need to get some greasy goals. We, we do. We have to get in there. They're not going to not gonna get me like our goal in, yeah, in game four. Yeah, it's an on the rush. It's a great play, but you're not going to get too many of those. So uh, we, we need our D to get centered more. We need more traffic down by the net. But, you know, they, where they get their, a lot of their four-man rushes is that D f f net fronting and blocking the shot and jumping. So we've got to make sure we've got somebody in front of him to slow him down.